uh, Mr. Ruska here, and I'm back with some StarCraft 2 commentary. <laughs> Hopefully, you didn't miss me too much. Today, we have a matchup between our Nero Zero player. He's gonna be a red turn spawn on the bottom left here. And for the time being, I'll just call him Nero. And on the top right, he's gonna be a blue Zerg. And guess who that is? It's the Magic Bomb. So, a TVZ gameplay here, and hopefully, this should be an interesting one. For those who didn't know, I actually hasn't, haven't casted any of the gameplays for quite a while due to uni and work and all that stuff. However, I should be back here, and you'll hopefully enjoy m m most of my casting again. For those who don't know, I've actually played a recent game against one of my good mates, and actually my first victory in quite a while. So, I probably have a pride, mo pride moment for that. <laughs> Here we go. This play. Apparently, Nero and uh, Medjibon actually played before, so as you, can, as you can see, Nero apparently went for two rack expansion, which didn't appear to work straight away. So let's see what uh, Medjibon has in store for us this time, and we'll see what uh, our turn play will, will do. So at the moment, nothing too out of the ordinary, and yes, as you've noticed, I do quite say that quite a lot. We go that second and first overlord slowly, slowly making their way to the enemy's base, trying to find out where that Templar is. And is the drones gonna be going for expansion? Yes, it is. Just waiting for that 300 meters and start <laughs> start doing the little dance. <laughs> Look at that drone. He thinks it's his people. And here we go. Expansion coming up. And there already knows. Uh, yeah, Zerg. Uh, nothing to, to expect from it. Zerg players are always going for early expansions. Uh, we'll see what Nero will actually go this time. We'll go for 2x expansion as well, or we'll try to go for Destiny Clive this time, which could potentially work ag against the Zerg player early in the game. Because there's no spawning pool. There oh, you go. <laughs> Took the words out of my mouth. Spawning pool is on its way. However, this SCV hasn't actually went to Magibon's base, so he doesn't know that Magibon already got his spawning pool coming up and also his first gas. Got a first marine on its way, and I think it's got an expansion here for Nero. Is that? Yep, there it is. The expansion on its way as well, which is not actually too bad. We're not that far into the game, and already both players are on their going on their expansions. And for a Terran player, that's actually quite good, especially for some a Zerg player. And here we go. One in spawn pool is nearly done. More CVs. Yep, come on. Here we go. That Oblique command center is ready, and there's the mule. <laughs> This big claws. And there we go, there's an SCV going to Magic Bomb base and going around, see what's going on. Going on. From Splendid Pool, we have four Zerglings and two Queens on their way, which is a fairly good number. Zerglings are always fairly quick, they consider to be the fastest uh, you know, grand units in the, whole, in the game. Unless, I don't know, may, maybe, maybe not. But I'm concerned to say that they are. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> oh, run spawn. Oh, I've wasted at least one second. And SCV, SCV is actually fairly quickly as well, so... Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> uh, keep running, SCV. Keep running. He'll keep, keep running. Run back home. Run back home. Oh, oh there, we go. there we go. Our first blood. As everybody likes to say. And we actually have a bunker on the log ground here for narrow. I could, not a bad placement. You want to have it more on the high ground to protect it from from early aggression here we go, the major ones here. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, it's a good placement. Because it goes even beyond uh, command center to, to protect it from this side as well. It's pretty good. We have, uh, how many, there we go, two racks. We've got a tech lab coming up for Nero. We have a uh, certain speed upgrade on its way as well. So at the moment, both players is taking out each, like, one unit. unit. However, SCVs are I'd say they're more important than Zerglin, especially one Zerglin. We have double Evo Chamber coming up for Magibum. Which for Zerg players, you always want those upgrades out as soon as possible. And there's the overlord still there. There's two, two Marines should at least go after, go after that and try to take it out. Hello? Get a third, we got a Combat Shields and Stampax. So at the moment, gone solely on Marines, you go do three Marines at once, get two two reactors, mm, two tech labs, no reactors on this barracks yet, obviously, because their supply depot is blocking away. 
spawn crawl. Here we've got more extractors just coming up as, as well, so I'm gonna get to go get, get the second melee attack and uh, armor as well. We've got an armor come on its way for our Terran players, so we might be going switching to some Helium pr pressure, but no, actually going f again for another command center, so could be most likely to be expanded somewhere around here, or just be using that pro proxy command center for more scans and Oh, excuse me. And for more mules. Here we go, the SCB is on the way. Probably get a, a scout a bit more, see what Mage Bomb is up to. However, there is a, sp a spawn call here, so that's not really gonna work. And there we go, one zap, and two. There we go, second bomb on its way. And actually, yeah, we do have a Destiny Cloudfish on its way for our Templar. There's a starboard, but. No, there's actually a Tech Lab, so might be going for some Mech Play with Siege Tanks. Maybe Thor's even. Hmm. Here we go, Hatcher on its way with a little bit of first layer. Yep, Siege Tanks on their way, and 18 Zerglings coming up for Major Bomb. <laughs> that's a, that's actually quite a lot of Zerglings. But that's also quite a lot of Marines with Steam Pack not nearly done, and and also Combat Shield. I haven't actually spotted okay, the Zerglings, obviously, you can see that Major Bomb knows there's a quite heavy push coming up on its way. Probably gonna be going for the for the blunt, for the, yep, going, going for the blunt space, thank you. Nice play, but Major Bomb actually cancelling that um, hatchery before for those uh, Marines were able to get to it. However, at the same time, Major Bomb actually, since there's no, no, no there's no Marines in buckets, oh, this is heavy. The, the Zerg is straight away going down on those poor SCVs, and actually, to comes pretty far on, on the siege. Yes, <laughs> there we go, and same, same thing, we have more Marines. So on this side, and it's, the Mage Bomb can't actually deal, deal with this spell. You only have spawn call, however, there are no zones, and we're actually pulling off the drones as well. But good, good play by Nero actually controlling his marines with the steam pack. Oh, look at all those marines slowly dis disappearing straight away. Oh, there's still a lot of zones that are just going, it's absolutely going savage, you know. This poor SCV is just. Uh, it's just, uh. Just a complete massacre. Press the button for those units lost. Mm. Alright, sorry about that. Just had to have <laughs> more Zerglings on the on, on the way, and I don't actually now we've got bunkers set up. I hope there's Zerglings. Need to be stri 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 straight away for, for the bunk. Okay, I actually got a siege tank and Sigma actually doing splash damage to its own, to its own bunker. Not, not, a, not a lot, but, but still, our uh, bunk is nearly dead. Uh, so let's let's see the units lost here. 59 to 57. Most of those 59 units lost for Templar are actually SCVs, and that's actually like wh what a heavy loss. So <laughs> that's very. Very intense here. There we go. We got five mules, 14, 14 SCVs to 41 drones, which is not actually that that well. We need to put the here we go more SCVs on on the way. Imagine was actually doing a double expansion, or is it doing a proxy hatchery? Here go here, here's the fir first expansion, and where's the other one? Have, have I missed it? Or was it just a proxy one? Uh, I think it was just one. No, there's no oh, here's, here's a pro post he he hatchery. <laughs> a lot of upgrades going for um Manji but not a lot of for Nero. He, he hasn't got he hasn't even got an armory yet for because since he went marine marine heavy, he hasn't got any, any other upgrades apart from steam pack and combat shields, and that's not actually that well. I think he's concentrated more on his siege tanks because he's only got one siege tank on the on the high ground. He's got a Couple of medivacs and his second siege tank. So we have we've got infestors, another queen, and 16 circles on the on the way, and <laughs> Tullin as well. So, Manjiba, <laughs> you never cease to su 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 surprise me. <sighs> oh, here we go. That lonely old uh, of lore just being being a kill guy, just getting killed. That, that Zergler must feel, um, guys, please don't come here. You didn't see me. Please don't come here. No. Don't, don't, don't. Oh. Obviously, Major Bomb knows this, and finally, we got some Terran infantry and an armor coming up for, um, for now, which is 
quite late in the game. And sometimes that's a lot of infestors and bailings. Oh, so might be doing some bailings, but but because that's because this is pretty much the only thing that Narrow has. It's got a couple of more marines at the back of his base and a couple of siege tanks, but that's that's about it. Nothing to actually worry about because this many marines are pretty much get absolute a good actually good sp spread here because notice the bailings and and the field. <laughs> Man, if I go, oh, nope, I think we should probably pull back. That's too many infestors and uh, bailings with the. Uh, but nope! <laughs> uh, Major Mom decides to, is to just let's roll. <laughs> Let's bail into that. Actually, it's a good sp s spread out, and the mar Marines just step back up. They can't really out outrun those. Uh, oh, one Marine got, got left behind. You never leave a man behind. That is, that is sad. Actually, there is, uh, is there one marine around here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> nice pathetic. Oh, I'm gonna be having a bad day if, if all those infestors spot me. However, I don't think this infestors has spotted this marine yet, which means that never knows that there that there's a big wave in, in coming here. At the same time, obviously, there's only one way, one entrance to uh, Nero's base, and that's actually a pretty good. Uh, sp Spread out by uh, siege tanks. However, they might be more available if, this if they get on the high ground. More bailing. Some of this one marine, s one soul marine things. I'm a badass. I'm gonna challenge of them. And nope. Just sacrifice. Maybe it wasn't vain. More Raxa coming up, and you got siege tank taking a quite a lot, a lot of zombies. You need to target the, you need to go for that si si the siege tank straight away. You got Balin just going straight away. Zerglings, Balin infest, infest the turrets. I mean, there's a lot of infestors. I need to pull, pull them back. That's so many infested turrets. I, I can't even count. I can't probably maybe 20. You need to target fire that siege tank. Siege tank's doing a lot of damage to those infested, infested turrets. There's, 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 there's two of them. This is quite insane. What are those infestations doing? There's nothing. They're just uh, about to run out, of, run out of life. And uh, there we go. So not that quite lo many losses here. If we look at that. Here we go. Hunger 43 to hunger 11. So, however, look at the hunger 25 to 96. So not. Oops, my mistake there. <laughs> Clock to run, but I'm still. Uh, I still think myself a very new to customs since I haven't actually been to StarCraft in quite a while. And now going for Ultra Elisks. <laughs> That's a very good um, uh, change change of pace with those uh, with all those upgrades as well. Because Ultras will just absolutely tear through through anything, especially the siege tanks if they can if they can get close enough. Especially you have to keep in mind that siege tanks take time for them to set up into siege mode. So if you can, can quickly get in, get into position without those siege tanks a siege mode yet. And get close enough, the siege tanks won't be able to do any, anything within an enclosed range. However, Major Mom actually already go, only going for his, uh, <laughs> what's it, only going for his fourth base while uh, Nero is only just finishes, Phil alone finishes third base, going for another command, so more racks on. on so, going for sec second army, might be, be going maybe for Thors? Mm, doubt it, because there aren't actually any air units in the field yet, so maybe going to uh, pure siege tanks. And the marines, it's not too bad. However, once he sees those ultra the most likely case of action will be for Nero. It's actually switch to marauders and, and marauders slow because the marauders actually do a lot to damage against ultra lisks since they have heavy units. Here we go. Here, here we go. That's a pretty scary looking army. Surprise, there's actually no air. Well, apart from those, those overlords. But now. Now Nero knows that there's ultra lists in place, so might need to do something about more, more siege tanks and more upgrades for only turn infantry one and number two is, is going on for sticking with pure marines. Here we go now, finally. No. Oh, oh my God! I can't actually believe that a Zerglian beat <laughs> that. That was just insane. Just a Hellion just by itself versus a Zerglian. Actually, no, actually. He's going for Thor's. Personally, I don't think Thor is. There we go. That's a lot of siege tanks. Let's see, we go straight away just slicing it. Slicing it. Slicing it. Also, there's do so much damage. Need to concentrate. Target fire on. Here we go. Lifting off the, com the 
a command center. Wait, there's Impressor Terrans. You need to get them on underneath that uh, pl op optimal command center. Here we go. Inf infestation on those uh, artifacts. That's gonna hurt. Wrong, wrong, wrong rally point for um, Terran player. Still so many, but look how much damage there is. Uh, Ultra is just do straight away. Just two, three, there's four tries, and that's and that's it. However, there's still a lot of siege tanks on the ground. And also Thor's in the as well, and uh, Magic was just lo losing all this, all this ultra. It should deduce a lot of damage, but not against uh, siege tanks and Thor's on the on high, on high ground. Oh, don't want to don't want to lose those those infestors. So actually, pretty good saving those infestors by putting some infested terrans. But look, <laughs> look how much mineral. Uh, minerals and gas management has compared to uh, Nero. Management has been pretty much in control. 90 to 185. That's just insane. More balance, more ultra is coming up. <laughs> this game has been lasting for over 20 minutes now. It's been backwards and forwards. It's an, I don't think Thor's are actually the answer for this. You need more marauders uh, and maybe some air units as well. At this point, uh, benches would be actually quite quite good because uh, look at it, Major One has no uh, detecting, he's got no overseers to detect any of those benches if it's got to be being played or even put some ghosts in play. However, it looks like Canero thinks, yep, I'm just gonna go straight ahead. That's a lot. That's a lot of uh, spine crawls. That's it. What are, you, what are you doing, Major One? Go for those stores and, and see straight away. Look at those stores. Just, just, just actually doing. <laughs> The one ultra success actually taking out two Thors at once. Uh, at this point, I don't think there's much that uh, Nero can do. Metrum is just pushing back and forth. He's taking up already mo not most, but at least a quarter of the map already, and there's still quite space here and here. No base on the high ground as of yet. And <laughs> this is just uh, actually look how much money just quickly disappeared. From uh, Major Bomb. actually going for Aspire and Zerg once again, a great Aspire and going for Zerg missile attacks. So might be trying trying to do some brute lords, which actually would be actually a pretty good transfu transfusion. I was gonna say, <laughs> since uh, at the moment uh, there's a lot of Thors in, in, in play and uh, Marines, not so much many siege tanks and only only a handful of Marauders, but that's about it. But this army is still very good. Ult Ultralist with some. Uh, and fascists and couple of uh, zerglings, just, just intense. It's really tough, and it seems like Nero is actually quite concerned about about that base. <laughs> oh, he can't land because there, there's a boar zergling there. <laughs> it's very fun. Actually, that's be fun. Zergling can actually just pull up like at least one or two, or two kills on the STV since the bunk is not actually doesn't actually have any any marines in them. So. <laughs> Actually, bowling in for narrow. I'm not really sure if it could help to to stop the, the push by Magibon. However, if there's siege tanks, they need siege tanks on the high ground. Siege tanks won't do much on the low ground if the infestors and special archers just run just run through and just pretty much obliterate anything. I mean, you saw that. And actually, we got <laughs> sorry, I missed it. We actually got two two drops here, which is. Uh, very quickly pushed back with those infested terrans, however, over here, I might need to pull up a, s a spore crawl, even though there's not actually more. There you go, there you go, the spore cl crawl is on the way, and uh, everything's well. That didn't actually do much, but <laughs> let's go back and try something else. I'm actually quite surprised that Magibum hasn't pushed uh, forward yet, hasn't actually. Uh, pushed uh, narrow into the corner. Like, sure, there are mar marines and a couple of Thors and lonely siege tank, but that's not much. This army won't last a minute against all this ultralis, which are probably going to be proven right now. Now, siege tank to get in this position. Here we go, Balin's on, on the way. So, actually, there's, there's, there's ultralis actually proved to, to be quite less of a, less of a challenge. The challenge is straight away. Even, even mules are going to be a bad place for Rally Point. With those SCBs, just Ultras is going town. I think there's, there's, no, there's nothing that Nero can do about it. Just 
There's uh, ultras that just go into town on everything. Just destroy. Completely obliterating everything on their way. And, uh. Was there a GG? Because, uh. I'm not exactly. Yep, there we go. There we go. Now it says GG. Well played. Such a good fella. <laughs> And, and yeah, so that's it. Magibomb takes this game as well. So, a very good pl play here. Actually, had a couple of cro a lot of corruptors here. Actually, probably gotta be going for Brute Lords in, at the end as well. But look how many Ultras were still left. And, um, yeah, I'm still surprised that Nero didn't actually put anything here. Like, even a couple of cents, like a one sense of tower here would have given him a greater view. You have advantage to see from this side or even from, from here. And siege tanks, there were two siege tanks on the high ground with Thor, two Thors, which did help out quite a lot in the, I'd say, three quarters of the game, like 20, I think it was 20 minutes, but that's about it. You need a lot more siege tanks on the high ground, because if that, that was the case, then those siege tanks probably obliterated those ultralists before they even got close. Well, anyway, I think I have spoken off. This was Mr. Ruskin, and hopefully you've enjoyed my first cast in a couple of months, so hopefully I'll be giving you a lot more. Since it's all this time. Oh yeah, by the way, everybody, hit the bitch. It's gonna be warm tomorrow. See ya.